Okay, hey there. We're going to talk about how to put together your uh, photo collage with the image that I printed for you and all of the papers I gave you. So, as you look through your supplies, you'll notice you have some handmade papers, some wallpaper samples, um, even some dictionary pages. And then you have a poster paper that's the size of the large wallpaper cutout, and then some glue, some string, some different things. First thing you're going to want to do is get your poster paper, get the wallpaper pattern that fits the poster paper, the glue, and one of your Q-tip swabs. You're going to glue the wallpaper sample to the poster paper as a base. The glue I've given you is Elmer's glue in a little film canister. Pop the top off real carefully. Use one of your cotton swabs to dip into the glue and then you're going to wipe the glue on the back of the wallpaper sample kind of spreading it around. Now you do not have to coat the entire wallpaper sample in order for it to stick appropriately to the poster board. Once you're finished line them up press down evenly around the surface. You can keep going at this point, but if you would just like a good seal on these two, you could put a heavy book on top and leave it for 30 minutes. Spend some time thinking about how you might arrange your composition and your collage. You may tear or cut any of the pieces that you are given. Think about what aspects of the photo you'd like to embellish or draw attention to. Play with a variety of arrangements until you get things the way that you like them. Once you decide how you want your collage to be, you can begin to glue in the same manner in which you glued the main piece down to the cardboard at the beginning. It might be wise to take a picture with your cell phone before you start so you can remember where you had pieces. If you have interesting paper or materials at your home, you're more than welcome to add anything that you would like. Once you have glued everything down and it has dried, you may want to use the markers to embellish around your collage area. In my example, I found a waterfall poem online, wrote lines of it around the outside area, I also drew lines around the exterior in waves that reminded me of water or waterfalls.